Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. Today, I'm going to be showing you three looks with possibly the most requested palette for me to do more looks on, which is the Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette. You guys liked my first impressions with this, so much so that you wanted to see another look, but because one look just is not enough for me, you guys needed three more looks. So that's what today's video is going to be. It's going to be three looks, one palette with the Kat Von D Metal Matte Mini Palette. This is gonna be my go-to travel companion. I already know that. If you want a more in-depth look on how I feel these shadows perform, I'm going to link up top and in the info box the link to my first impressions with the palette. If you'd like to see how I got this look right here, as well as the other two looks, then please keep on watching. For each of the looks I'm doing today, I'm, I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Primer Potion and setting that with my Kat Von D Translucent Loose Powder. So after setting my primer for this first look, I'm going to be taking the color Suede on a fluffy Morphe blending brush and buffing this through my crease and basically building up the color to create some subtle definition on each eye. Now on a MAC 217 brush, I'm going to be picking up the color Oak, mixed with a little bit of suede, and buffing this through the outer corner of my eye and creating extra definition and smoke. I'm also taking that mixture and buffing out underneath my lower lash line. Once I've built up the definition that I want, I'm going to use my finger to dip into the color Synergy, which is one of the Metal Crush eyeshadows, and swipe that color onto the center of the lid and a little bit on the lower lash line just to add some of that shimmering warm brown color. I'm now applying mascara to my top and bottom lashes and this completes the first eye look. Because this look is so neutral, you can pair it up with really any lip, but I am going with the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the color Nosferatu, which is a beautiful brick red shade. For the second look, I'm going in immediately with a color feather, which is a matte shade, on a Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush, and I'm pressing this onto the lid to create a base for all of my subsequent shadows. On that same brush, I'm picking up a little bit of the color suede and adding definition into my crease before I go in with my main color. I really recommend using your finger to pick up most, if not all, of the Metal Crush eyeshadows, which is what you now see me doing with the color flash. And I'm pressing this onto the mobile lid right up to the crease. To ground the look, I'm going to use my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper and going to create a nice big cat eye just to balance out the really, really light yellowy color on me. Now off camera, I'm just going to add mascara to my top and bottom lashes and then applying my Rouge and Rogue lashes in Belle de Nuit. For a finishing touch, I'm going to be taking a short shader brush from Morphe and spraying it with a little bit of my Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray and then dipping into the color Flash once again to get a really strong pigmentation of the color. I'm using this light bluish gray also from Kat Von D and it's the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the color Dagger. And this completes the second look. For the third look, I'm actually not going to prime or use setting powder. I'm immediately going to go in with the Melt Cosmetics eyeliner in the color Bloodshot. I'm running this all over the top lid and on the bottom underneath my eye and immediately buffing it out with a clean Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. With that same brush, I'm going to dip into the color Suede and work on my crease color to make sure that while the Bloodshot liner is buffed out, I can start working on blending it into the crease. Once I've built up the crease as much as I want, I'm picking up a fluffy Rouge and Rogue blending brush and stamping into the color Velvet and pressing this on top of where we placed Bloodshot and really focusing it on the mobile lid. I'm also making a point to take Velvet underneath my lower lash line. With a loose, fluffy Morphe brush that only has a touch of suede on the very end, I'm going to lightly blend all around the edges of the eyeshadow. Now taking a Sigma E55 short shader brush, I'm picking up the color Raw Power and using some of that same Mario Badescu spray to press that into the center of the lid to add a nice rosy sheen and a focal point to the eyeshadow look. Now I'm going to use the Kat Von D lip liner in the color Blood Milk for my tightline and waterline color, and it's just gonna add some extra plum depth to the eye. I'm now applying my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara, which is what I've been using throughout the entire video, and applying the Rouge and Rogue Lashes in the pair Nirvana. 
To add a little bit more light to the inner corner of my eye, I'm picking up a combination of Thunderstruck and Bone from the palette and putting that on the inner corners of my eyes using that same pencil brush as before. With the eyes complete, I'm going to finish off the lips with a nude color, and today I'm going to be using the Kylie Cosmetics Lip Kit in the color Brown Sugar. And this completes the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and all three of these looks. Please leave me a comment down below letting me know which look was your favorite. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll speak to you guys in the next video. I hope you're having a great day. Bye!